Hi there, this is Teacher Harry and welcome back to my English lessons where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language so that you can perhaps speak in a better way, feel more comfortable, feel more confident and also help you with aspects as I'm going to do today with some business English. But before that, I just want to remind you to listen to me on my podcast. You can download the podcast, you can watch me on the YouTube channel and you can subscribe to my channel. So if you do that, it'll help me to keep you informed and give you better English videos and better English podcasts. And at the end of this particular video, I'm going to, and the lesson, of course, I'm going to give you my contact details. Okay, so what are we going to cover in the lesson today? Well, all of us, and that myself included, we have to make presentations from time to time to uh, staff or to bosses or to clients or customers, whoever it may be. And if you're using English not as your native language, then it can be a bit of a challenge. You might feel lacking in confidence. You might feel that you're not up to the other guys, but you can you can do it. So I'm going to give you some useful phrases that you can use in relation to presentations. And as always, if you have any questions to ask later on, you can send me an email or you can get in contact with me and I'll happily, very happily, give you more details. Okay, so let's go through these one by one. Some of them are a little bit easier to understand than others, but but I'll try and make sure you've got good examples and you can use them. Okay, so we're talking about useful phrases for presentations in English. So setting the scene, okay, the beginning, setting the scene. You might just simply say at the presentation, particularly if it's online, it's good to see you all here. It's It's great that you could join me. I'm very pleased to be here. I'm very pleased to be talking to you today. I'm very pleased to be presenting to you today. I'm glad you could all make it. So you've taken time out of your schedule, so I'm glad you could all make it. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for joining in. Thank you all for coming together on Zoom, whatever it might be. You can adjust the words to suit the uh, medium and the medium by which you're presenting to your uh, guests, whoever they are, staff, or colleagues, whatever. Okay, so set the scene. Good to see you all here. I'm very pleased to be here. I'm glad you could come. I'm glad you could make it. Thank you for coming. And then if we talk about other uh, useful uh, expressions and phrases, you, you can introduce yourself, which if some people don't know you, then it's a good idea to spend 30 seconds, and it doesn't take more than that, to introduce yourself. So my name is Harry. I work in this department. I'd like to talk to you today about, or the topic of my presentation today is, I'm planning to tell you about, today I'd like to introduce you to. So in those sort of expressions, you're setting the scene again. You're telling them exactly what you're going to cover. And it's a really good idea in a presentation because then everybody knows what's going to be spoken about, everybody knows the topic, and uh, then they can focus on that a little bit more. And it might be a good idea to tell them how long it's likely to take. So, my name is Harry, I work in the marketing department, my presentation today is about our new product, the presentation is probably going to take about 20 minutes, and if you have any questions, then please ask them as we go through the presentation, or you might like to leave them until the end, because I might cover your question in a part of the presentation, so at the end we can wrap up and pull together all those questions. And that's exactly how you would introduce it, okay? Now, if you want to introduce the talk, you could say, what I'd like to do in this presentation is First of all, I'll give you a brief overview of, so a brief, a brief overview of the product, a brief overview of the background, a brief overview of our plans, okay? Then I'll talk about, so then you go on to the next stage. And after that, I'd like to show you some market research. After that, I'd like to show you our projections. Or after that, I'd like to show you the specific plan for the launching of this product. So you go step by step by step. So. What I'd like to do in the presentation is introduce you to our marketing plan for our new product that's going to be launched on the 1st of November. First, I'll give you a brief overview of why we thought it necessary to introduce a new product. And then I'll go into the 
background of what we've done, what our plans are, when we launch, where we will launch the media campaign. And then I'll show you some information that might be useful from some market research that we've done to show why there is a demand for the product at the moment. So you're setting the scene and you're giving them all the details about that particular product that you're going to launch. So in any presentation, visuals are really important and they can help you and they can also support you if you're a little bit uh, lacking in confidence about the, the presentation itself and you perhaps don't want to be the focus of everything. So if you've got some visuals, then people can look at those and it avoids boredom and it enables you to make the point if you have a, a little bit of difficulty. So the type of phrases you might use in that context would be something like, you will notice on this chart, so you may have a chart, a pie chart, a bar chart, whatever it may be. So you give the key points so that they can understand the information that you're showing them. If you look at this slide, we can see, okay, so you show trends or consumer product information or the result of your research, whatever it might be on that particular uh, topic. Have a look at these figures and you can clearly see, okay, so again, you're introducing some information through figures of, you know, how many people have bought it, which countries it has been bought in, where the largest exposure is, you know, how many countries you export to, whatever the, the figures happen to be. You want to just to explain it in a couple of good slides with either pie charts, bar charts, whatever type of way information you have that, that, that you can use. And as I said, it helps you, it supports you and enables you to just sort of hide a little bit behind those slides so that the focus is on the screen, not specifically on you. Okay. And when you want to finish off in relation to those sort of aspects, um, you might just summarize by saying, well, that's all I wanted to say on that particular topic. So if you've got any questions, I'd be happy to take them now. Quite simple. Or to summarize what I said is. So you might just give brief summary. We're going to launch the product on the 1st of November. The first advertising you'll see on the internet is on this date. They'll be pre-advertising on that date, blah, 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 blah. So you give a quick summary of what you've discussed. That presentation on the last slide completes my presentation for today. So I'd be happy to take questions or if you want to contact me offline, just send me an email. Okay. So again, just telling them that they're at the end. As I promised, I've now finished the presentation. It only took 20 minutes. I appreciate you watching and listening and your attention. If, I have any que if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them now. So again, this is a nice way to summarize and to end. Okay, so I've explained to you how this all works. I've explained to you the rationale, the thinking behind it, and hopefully this is going to be a success. Have you any questions? Or if you've got, if had a few questions, you might just give a little pause and say, well, okay, if there are no more questions, then I'll say goodbye. Thank you for your attention. Thanks for your participation. And I'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Or that wraps up my presentation for today. I'm very happy to have received your attention, all, all the questions. It shows that there's a lot of interest. And again, if you want to follow up with me directly, well, you've got my email address. Just write to me and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. So again, helpful information directing them how they can get in touch with you after your presentation. Now, if we want to use what we call checking and moving on. So during a presentation, we want to make sure that the people are listening, but you also don't want to spend too much time on each particular point. So you check their understanding uh, so far, and then you move on. So you might say to the people, does that sound okay to you? Do you follow that? Is it clear? Can I clarify anything else? If not, let's, let's move on. Let's look at the next slide. Now let's move on to the really important topic of budgets or media or whatever it might be. And of course, that now leads me on to my next and final point, perhaps. Okay. And let's turn to the topic of advertising. Let's turn to the topic of budgets. You know, so you pinpoint exactly what you want to cover, when you're going to cover it, and then you move on. So you check that they understand it. You check that there's no more questions um, that they wish to ask. You check that everything is clear. And then you clearly state to them, okay, we'll move on to the next point. We'll move on to the next slide. 
we move on to the next topic. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one follows after the other. I also find in these type of presentations, particularly if they're a bit longer than a, a few short slides, that you, it's a good idea to do some recapping. Okay, so to recap means to go over what you've done before, not in huge amount of detail because you don't want to bore them by going through everything, but you recap quite quickly. So, as I mentioned earlier, you bring up the point. As I pointed out earlier, you again refer back to some other point. Or to sum up that particular section. So if you break it down into particular sections to sum up that particular section before I move on. So you indicate that you're going to summarize, you're going to recap quickly, and then you're going to move on to the next part. Let me summarize briefly so that you have a, a good understanding. And if there's any questions, I'll take them in the question and answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a quick recap of what we've covered today. Here's a quick recap of what I've covered this morning. Here's a quick recap of what I've covered in my slides. All of those good, acceptable expressions and words that you can use. I'd like to recap the main points. Let me go over the main points for you once more because I think it's important to underline these. So again, you're giving them the opportunity to hear it a second time very quickly, giving them a chance to ask any questions if they wish or for some clarity. Okay, so that's all under the general heading of recapping. Okay. And then when you come to the end of the presentation, you want to sign off or you want to finish, then we can say, well, this is my key point. This is the key point in all of this. So let me finish on this. So you've got a sort of a grand finale. Okay, so you've built up everything up to this point. This is your conclusion. So this is your opportunity to drive it home to make sure that people understand what you're talking about. Or just simply to sum up. This is what I want to say, to sum up in a few words. I'd like to, to finish now by thanking you all for your kind attention. It's not so easy to listen to presentations day in, day out. As I promised, I would finish this in 20 minutes. Thank you. Just very simple. I'll join, I look forward to joining you again soon. I look forward to any uh, questions or I look forward to receiving your emails. I'd be happy to take any question now. Okay, so again, all nice and polite ways of informing people that this is the end, okay? So if there's somebody out there in the audience who's asleep, they'll probably wake up at that point when you say, and finally, or in conclusion, yeah? So they know, okay, this is over. They've been watching the clock a little bit. You've made the time that you promised and you're getting them out of that particular presentation and going off to do whatever they want to do. Okay, so when we're talking about presentations and we're talking about making presentations particularly online it's really really important that you're clear it's really really important that the people that you're talking to understand when you're going to start but more importantly when are you going to end so it's really important to give you give them those timelines okay so you set the scene okay what are you going to do in the presentation then you give them the details of perhaps who you are, where you, you come from, where you work in the organization if they don't know you, and exactly what you're going to cover. So they get a, a brief introduction. And as I said, an idea, you're starting now. When is it going to be finished? When can they move out of this? Then you introduce the talk. You give them the, the, the different parts. You stop every now and again and you summarize. You ask for clarity. You want to make sure that the people understand and they've got a chance to ask some questions. Then you might do some recapping either at specific breaks or other parts. Then you can move on once you've recapped and then you can summarize by telling them again what you've covered, what you expect, take some questions, give the answers or ask them to uh, follow on with any other more detailed questions, perhaps by email. And then you wrap it up, you end it, you summarize, thanking them for their attention, thanking for them for asking their questions. And then that's it. You cut it, you end it, you shut down, you close and you say goodbye. Okay. Well, hopefully you've got something in particular that you can uh, hold on to there, something that can help you if you're making presentations. And if you have any other queries that you need, or any other help in relation to presentations, well, of course, come to me. I'm very, very happy to help you. My contact details are 
www.englishlessonbyskype.com and indeed if you want some help how to make presentations, if you want some help how to get through interviews or you just want general help with your English, well why not try a one-to-one -one lesson? It might not always be with me but it can be with one of the other teachers that are working with me. They're all really really professional and we're here to help you so you can get the contact details by contacting me. As always, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, join me again soon.